This video is going to show you how to install the kernel, the latest patch, and the plugins for the SuperCard DS2. We're going to get our micro SD card, our micro SD card reader. And now we're going to connect it to our computer. And it just popped up. Okay, the first thing we want to do is open. As you can see, it's empty. If you're using a used micro SD card, you want to go ahead and delete everything off of it first. Exit that out and go to our SD formatter tool. We're going to format it. Be doing a quick format. Now that's done. Exit. Now we're going to go ahead and add the kernel. Download the kernel and the latest patch and the plugin. Okay. ENG dot super card dot sc now from here you want we're going to scroll to supercard ds2 we're going to go to the download tab click download and today's date is 2 8 2011 this is the latest kernel right here it's version 1.09 came out 122 about two weeks ago and it shows you what it fixed right here so we're just going to click right here where it says download. It's going to ask where you want to save it to. Or if you want to open it or save it, just click save. OK. And now that's downloading. OK. I'll go back to my browser. Right here under that, you can see where it says download DS2 latest patch. So I'm going to click there. OK. Now notice the date for the latest patch. It came out at 1.13. OK. Uh, the, the newest kernel, the latest kernel that we, we're downloading right now, 1.09 was released 122 so we actually don't need to download this patch since it's older but let's say in the future from now when you're watching this video you go to see the latest patch and it's actually come out after the kernel then you would want to download it and add it so this way you know how to do it I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it even though we don't actually need it so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it to save it okay so it's gonna download as you see right there, it's downloading. Okay, so now we're downloading the kernel and the latest patch. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the website. I'll go click right here on the plugin tab, and from here is all the all the latest plugins. Uh, iReader is already on there. DS2 iPlayer is on there. We could download DS2 Mame, but I'm just gonna show you one of these, kind of the main one, the Super Nintendo emulator. I'm gonna go ahead and download this plugin there this is version 1.05 click to download save file and as you see that's downloading okay so now I'm gonna go back to my desktop those are done downloading go to where they're at which mine are in my downloads folder okay here's the three files that I downloaded if you don't recognize the file format this is a zip, a WinRAR zip archive. If you don't have a program to unzip it, because it's just a compressed file, then you can go to jzip.com and download that program for free. But okay, so the next step we're gonna do is new folder. We're gonna call it SuperCard Kernel. Okay, and then I'm gonna open my kernel right here, double click on it, and then I'm gonna select everything and drag it over and put it in that folder. So what it's doing now is just uncompressing everything into that folder. Okay, so now I'm gonna open that folder and there's everything that's on there, okay? So I'm gonna exit this out, go back. We're done with this one. Okay, so this is where my kernel is at. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go to computer, open that, go to my removal disk. This is my micro SD card, okay? Open micro SD card. As you can see, my micro SD card is still empty. So now I'm ready to add the kernel. I'm going to open this folder, SuperCard Kernel, and I'm going to drag everything, put it on there. You can do each folder one at a time if you want, uh, depending on your micro SD card. If you're using a real cheap micro SD card, like a generic one, a generic one, then yeah, you might want to just drag all the folders one by one. Okay, now that that's done. We're going to go ahead and go back right here. And these two are done. Now we're going to go ahead and add the latest patch. This is my patch that was released 113. We actually don't need it, but I'm going to go ahead and still add it. Or well, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to 
add it in case uh, in the future you want to add it okay all right notice this folder ds2 notice this folder ds2 so we're going to open this folder ds2 that's on our micro sd card and then we're going to open this folder that's on ds2 and you can see english you can see these two files i'm just going to drag them over and copy them to the micro sd card and of course we already have two files that are on there with that same name so you would do move and replace okay but i'm not going to do that then for the second file you would do move and replace but i'm not going to do that because uh, i already have the latest version on here so i don't need it but i just want to show you how to do it uh, that way you know how to add the latest patch and they'll come out with latest patches you know a couple weeks after the kernel recent game fixes and everything so you may need to do that in the future okay i'm gonna go back okay this is the root of my micro sd card now i'm gonna show you how to add a plugin this is the super nintendo plugin so i'm gonna open this okay i'm actually gonna exit this out i don't need that anymore this is my plugin all right notice the name ds2 plug notice the name ds2 plug open this and as you see, I already have some plugins there. It's the Game Boy Emulator, iReader, Mucho 2, uh, iMovie. You see the picture at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this DSD plug and grab these three files, put them in there. They copied pretty quickly. I'm going to go back and go back. And this folder, the NDSSFS. I mean, FC, excuse me. I'm going to grab this folder and extract it to my micro SD card. The root of my micro SD card. I didn't put it in a folder or anything like that. It's on the root of my micro SD card. Remember that. Okay. All right. Now we're now I'm going to exit that out. And now we're pretty much done with adding the kernel, adding the plugin, and adding the latest patch. So now that we know how to do that, now I'm going to go ahead and add some other stuff. Go ahead and set it up. Let's do a new folder ds games new folder ds media you can pick whatever name you want it's just what i like to call my folders now we're going to go ahead and eject it you're going to right click scroll up to eject this is called a safe eject and notice right here at the bottom it says safe to remove hardware 